Hello there, Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is part of a blog hop with Trinity Stamps. We are celebrating the holiday release, the Warm and Cozy Collection. And as part of today's release, you can win one of two $15 gift cards to the Trinity Stamps shop just by hopping along with us and leaving comments as you go. Make sure you comment on every blog in the hop for a chance to win. I'm featuring the brand new stamp set from Our Gnome to Yours with this cute gnome holding a poinsettia. I'm first stamping this out with Copic Friendly Black Ink onto white cardstock, and then I will be Copic coloring that. And you can see here how cute that is. All right, so I'm using B00 to color in the lightest color on my hat. My darkest color is B02. I'll bring that in to add in those dark shadows and I'll bring in my mid-tone to soften that out and blend it out so that I can have a really nice soft look for this hat, like it's fabric. So that is the B01 for my mid-tone. Just blending that out and then I'll bring in my B00 again to fill that in and soften those edges and I just love this color combination. I'm also going to use that on the little mitten and shoes for the gnome. Sometimes I do bring that darkest color back in just to intensify those shadows. For the skin I'm starting with E00 and then my darkest color is E13 and my mid-tone to blend that out is E11 and then I'll just bring back in the lightest color to blend that and soften it out. For my gnome's hair, I am using my neutral gray markers. The braids are gonna be a little bit darker, so my darkest color here is N6. I'm gonna blend that out with N5. And then for my final blend, my lightest color again is N3. Now for the beard part of this gnome, I wanted to go a little bit lighter than the braids themselves. So I'm starting with N0 as my lightest color and just going around all those objects that the beard is underneath. And then for my darkest color, N3, I am using it to draw in some little squiggly wavy lines that look like beard hair to me. So... I'll go over that with my mid-tone N1 just to soften out those lines and give it a little bit more look of depth. And then again with my lightest color. Now I do end up going back over that beard again. I will show you that just to intensify those shadows. Now here for the poinsettia, I am using R17. It's um, lipstick orange, but I really feel like poinsettias um, vary in colors and I kind of like it when they're a little bit orangey red. So that's the look I was going for. And now I'm going over that with my darker color and kind of spreading out those lines and making them really dark before I go over it again with my R17. I just used two colors on this. Um, sometimes red can um, really bleed out, so I try not to saturate my red areas too much. For my leaves, I'm using G02 as my lightest color. My darkest color is G19, and then I will blend out that dark line with my G16 before I bring back in the lightest color and blend that all out. I really like starting with my lightest color, going straight to my darkest, and then working my way back to my lightest. So here is Y17 for the little berries and center of my flower, and then my other greenery on this plant, I'm using G29. They're very small images, so I don't need really to blend them out with another color. I'm using G, or sorry, R35 for my little flower pot. For the string around the flower pot, I am making it red and white, so I'm just coloring like every other little line. And then I'll do the same color combination. It's not a combination when you use one color, but... <laughs> Anyway, I'm also coloring it with R35, but I brought in my R27 just to darken up a portion of that to give it a little bit more interest. So here I am adding in more shadowing with my N3 marker. It just kind of faded away and you couldn't really see the shadowing. So I just felt like I needed to have a second layer and it did the trick, definitely. Just going over it with all those colors again. I'll finish this image up by adding some white highlights with my white jelly roll pen. I love to put white highlights, so I put them on all the things. <laughs> and even little wavy lines in the beard for more dimension. 
So that will finish up the coloring. Here you can see all the markers I use to color in my image if you're interested in any of those blends. And then this little gnome will also get cut out and you can see up close how cute it turned out. Now for the background of my card, I used the slimline stitch die set and cut out the largest rectangle and using some tumbled glass on the background. No ink blending, just one color, but I really wanted to give that a really good coat. So it was fairly dark for that color. And then I'm taping on the brand new snow stencil. This is a new slimline stencil set. There's two in the set and they layer together where the falling snow does not over lap some of them touch but they don't overlap and it really gives a fun snowy look so for my first stencil i'm stenciling on some white pigment ink and you can see when i remove this it is magical and so cute so cute so you could rotate that stencil and use another part of it again where there's also the second stencil which i've stuck on here and i'm adding some glimmer glitz gel and it is so perfect for this background. You have the white that looks farther away and then the glittery snow that looks closer and it just gives that background some dimension. And I think it's fabulous. I know I'm gonna use these stencils time and time again on my backgrounds. I love them. Okay, here is the brand new rooftop slimline die. I've die cut it from black cardstock and am putting some light yellow cardstock behind the windows that the die cut for me just to complete the look and it looks perfect. I have that tiny bit of yellow in my gnome image so having the yellow repeated actually looks really good on this card. So now I am adhering a piece of the rainbow, autumn rainbow slimline paper pack, the red stripes to my card base. So my card base when closed is nine by four. And then I'll adhere the, my background and my rooftop. And then I added Merry Christmas using this scripty Merry Christmas dies. Aren't they gorgeous? And I popped my gnome up to finish up the front of the card. Now for the inside, I played with another gnome from the new release and put that on the inside because my sentiment says from our gnome to yours. So if it says our, I felt like I needed another gnome here somewhere. So I'll link that cutie patootie gnome down below for you as well. I taped my card down so it was not flapping in the breeze when I was trying to stamp on my completely finished card. So that gave me a little security and it stamped out beautifully beautifully. And that finishes my card for today. I hope you've enjoyed this peek at a few of the new products from Trinity. Remember to hop along with us and leave comments on all the videos that you see in the hop. The next video is linked for you below. And remember, commenting means you get entered into a drawing for one of two $15 gift certificates that Trinity is giving away to their shop. I will have all the details on the hop and the prizes being given away in the description box below, as well as these brand new products that you can purchase right now. I thank you so much for stopping by and hope that you're having a fabulous weekend. Happy stamping. Bye.